Hello, welcome, welcome. My name is Hortensia and I am the one-armed chef. Basically, I call myself the one-armed chef because I only have um, mobility in one arm, but I've always had a passion for cooking and, and that's why I wanted to do this program not just for that, my love of cooking and my Italian heritage, but more importantly, I wanted to show people with uh, a disability, people with limited mobility, that they can get in the kitchen and just give it a, a good go. Uh, this is my favourite recipe. It's called egg crepe cannelloni stuffed with spinach and ricotta with a Napolitana sauce. As you would expect from Italians, this is a traditional recipe that's been passed down through the generations and we continue to use it today. It's my favourite yum. These are the crepes made very simply. They're just piled up in a, in a pile. Um, this is the Napolitan sauce. And this is the spinach and ricotta mix, but it just needs to be mixed more thoroughly. When those crepes are filled with the, the um, cheese and spinach, they will be rolled up, put into a pan, They'll have the Napolitana sauce poured over the top and then some mozzarella cheese. More cheese, the better. We're just, after having rolled these, I'm just going to pop them in the pan. Don't worry too much some of them open up a little bit but they're so squashed in together I don't think it really matters what's next and what is probably easier is if you have the sauce in a jug and we pour it over, we just need a spoon to smooth it out. I'll just, I'll just give it a spread here so that it's all over the cannelloni. Oh, these are so yummy. I'm just following what my mum said. Make sure it's all covered, every bit. Top that with some mozzarella. Yum. There can never be as too much cheese, I reckon. <laughs> and a little bit of parmesan. Okay. So mum said, cover it all. And then serve with a simple garden salad.
This salad is aniseed and orange salad. It's very close to my heart. My mother used to make it often when I was a child. And basically she would shave or cut pieces of aniseed or fennel. Um, everybody calls it differently. But um, she would cut that up and she would cut orange pieces like this. Um, and some cucumber and mix it all together. You might put a bit of orange juice in there and strangely enough, it, the other ingredient is salt, pepper and olive oil. It's unbelievable how tasty this salad is and it's very close to my heart. I ate it a lot when I was a kid. Uh, that salad, we would normally serve it with uh, a piece of salmon or some other seafood that we would um, enjoy. We enjoyed a lot of seafood. To prepare the salmon, sprinkle salt and pepper on the salmon fillets. Lightly pour on some olive oil. Heat a small frying pan. Add the salmon skin side down first so that it crisps up. Serve the salmon with a side of orange and aniseed salad. You can use the Sprigs of the fennel to garnish. It looks lovely if you do. As you would expect, people like myself have, that have limited mobility can find it difficult in the kitchen. But there is specialised equipment available. We are extremely grateful to the Independent Living Centre for supplying this equipment as this wonderful chopping board with spikes to hold ingredients for cutting and also this pourer. Uh, only one hand necessary and lid openers. So really with this innovative equipment cooking can be as easy as the dishes are to make. Now we come to one of my favourite desserts. It's called Impossible Pie. It's not because it's impossible to make it. It's beautiful. You put all the ingredients into a food processor and after it's cooked, it comes out with a base, custard in the middle and a crunchy top. That's why it's impossible. But we have, the ingredients we have are four eggs, half a cup of softened butter, a cup of caster sugar, half a cup of plain flour, a teaspoon of vanilla and and you can use a vanilla paste which is really nice and you need two cups of milk now I have this little gadget that I've got my milk on it's very some milk there we go one of the other reasons I call this impossible pie is because 
you can have all the ingredients and you don't have to put them in in any order. It'll work no matter how you do it. Okay, we'll start with the flour. And we'll put in the sugar. Uh, here we go, softened butter. Coconut. Oops. That was coconut that went in just then. And vanilla essence or paste is fine. Um, okay, thank you. Okay, two cups of milk. Turn on the blender and mix for a minute on high. Pour in the ingredients. Bake until set and the top is, is golden. We're just wiggling out a piece. If you look closely, it has a base, there's custard in the middle, and the top of it is like a crunchy layer. I think the coconut does that. Oh, thank you, book. I'll just put some pomegranate on there and we'll throw it around haphazardly. And finally, we have my super duper fruit filled muffins. They are so easy. Three ingredients, a kilo of mixed dried fruit and two cups of flour and 600 mils of chocolate milk. You, you can use um, something that's already pre-mixed that you buy. Um, or you could just measure it milk and add the chocolate yourself. Now we spoon the mixture evenly into the muffin tins. I find it much easier to use an ice cream scoop, especially if it's got a wide handle or a thick handle. You put them out on a lovely platter and you can garnish them any way you like. We've got this time we've got some strawberries and we've dusted them with icing sugar and I've got a little sprig of mint here. There we go. Well, we've come to the end and I truly hope it's inspired you to see that we, you may have physical limitations, 
but there shouldn't be limitations in the kitchen. You just got to go in there and do it. Simple, easy and tasty meals that give you enormous satisfaction in the making and enormous satisfaction in enjoyment for you and your guests. Ciao from the One-Armed Chef. Until next time.